we made it into the Times newspaper, the Independent, you know, um, we made it onto like Sharon Osbourne show, GMTV, and all these huge things, and millions of people watch, and it's just unbelievable that that my writing, that my experience in this, you know, in, in Middlesbrough, in the hospital in Middlesbrough, could actually be transformed into something that that has helped so many people and has reached such a wide audience. Stranger in the Family started when I was was 15. When I was 15, I was admitted into a psychiatric ward, a psychiatric unit. Um, called the Rosebury Centre in, uh, in Middlesbrough. I weighed about five stone when I was admitted into the into hospital. And I was there for nine months. When I was there, I started writing, I kept journals about my experiences there and what happened. Well, I was in a very bizarre situation when I was like 14. I was in a class with three boys and myself. And they loved to rip me to shreds. You know, they loved to pick on any insecurity that I had and just, you know, try and destroy me, basically. Of course, I thought, if I found this a perfection somewhere that the boys at school might perhaps, you know, actually see me for being a nice person that I that I am and I think so I started to I went on a diet and then I found I was losing weight and they were, you know, their their comments were becoming less and less and um, for a while. Until I, and then I found that it would actually give me a real power boost to, to lose this weight. And so, you know, it's such a, it's such a drive, it's such a it's, you get such a rush when you can like refuse food, when you can refuse to do things, it was like, wow, this is really, you know, this is giving me real power. And that's, that was, that became an obsession. And I kept on losing. And then after about three months, I started to encounter this voice on a daily basis. Basically that started to control my, my every single move that I make. It's, you know, it was there in my sleep, it was there as soon as I woke up. Um, I just wanted to be perfect, which in my mind then, I don't know what I I don't know what I expected to be. Just I suppose like almost like a a ghost type, you know. So so n not there, but I don't know. I don't know. I can't explain it really. It's bizarre. I was I was right. I was rung up by this uh, journalist from the magazine Easy Living, and she was like, "Hi, Katie. I've read your book. I've seen your website. I'd really like you to come and do a photo shoot for us in London in a bikini." I was like, "No, I don't do that sort of thing." And she was like, no, it'll be really safe. You can wear whatever you want. You know, we'll be, it'll be gorgeous weather. We'll have a great photographer, blah, 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 blah. She was like, oh, you know, she, you know, you'll help so many people. Other people might be inspired, blah, blah, blah. Sorry, no, no, no. I'm not that sort of person, blah, blah, blah. So eventually I decided that I did go down and I was incredibly uncomfortable. I don't like wearing bikinis or swimsuits. And even though I'm recovered, I still, you know, I just don't do that sort of thing. I felt like, oh God, this isn't me. You know, why am I wearing this red horrible thing? This isn't, I don't do this sort of thing. Yeah, it was like a tankini thing. But it's basically, it was an article, why I dare to bear, why I dare to wear a swimsuit. Mm. And mine was overcoming anorexia. That was, um, yeah, but I was, uh, I was incredibly anxious about it all. And I was just like, oh God, but what about, what about my legs? And what about my feet and my ankles and my arms? And yeah, they were just, oh, we'll Photoshop, we'll Photoshop. Um, so I was just like, oh my god, I can't believe I'm just getting involved with this all. You know, I never like shown so much flesh and stuff. That was that was a weird experience because then I went home and I just thought through it and I thought, well, actually, to be honest, it was worth it for the couple of hours that I was there doing that. It might help other people to sort of start eating again or whatever. I've, I received like at least two or three emails a week from people who've read the book and who've said that it's helped them enormously. You know, it's helped them to sort of actually battle the voice that they hear and to gain weight and to discover that life is actually amazing and uh, that they want to you know live it's absolutely incredible and it makes me it makes me feel so I don't know I feel so um, almost glad in a way that I went through those experiences to have been able to create this guide for people and this help you know um, I think it was worth it I'm not glad I went through the experience so it's more like I think I feel it's worth it going through them I think I've, I've just learned so much about myself in those years, you know, I think it's made me who I am today, a much stronger person, able to cope with practically any situation. Through.